The Apple Watch is a great device that allows you to track your health and activity. One of the most important metrics here are calories. In order to be completely clear, I'm going to be referring to the term kilocalories as calories, because that's how it's commonly called. But what's the difference between active calories and a total calories when using the Apple Watch to track it? Opening up the fitness app on the Apple Watch, you can see as the first thing that there is, is the circles or rings. The red one represents burned calories, as you may know, but not all calories, rather just active calories. So here begins the, the distinction. The red move ring represents only active calories, and by definition, active calories are burned while performing physical activities. It doesn't matter what type of activity it is, it can be running, walking, doing any other exercise, but you have to be actively moving. But let's say, or let's take a look at this example. You start a strength training workout on your Apple Watch, and you can see it right away. It is there stated that it is actually divided to active and total calories. So you can see right there, the active are at the top, and the regular or total calories are at the bottom. So the definition of total calories goes like this. Total calories is the sum of active calories done or burned during workouts or exercise, plus calories burned during normal body function. So as you know, the calories are basically energy, and your body needs energy to breathe, to digest food, and simply to work or to be alive. So there are other calories, or the other energy of total calories is being used to maintain your body function. By the way, guys, really quickly here, make sure that if you are interested in Apple Watch and fitness and other things, Make sure to subscribe to this Fox Tech channel, which was known as Apple Fox before, so you're not gonna miss the future videos like these. And yes, you can also check out the Apple Watch fitness playlist here on this channel, where I show you how to change goals and how to navigate the world of fitness with the Apple Watch. Make sure to do that and let's continue with the video. You can see your total amount of calories burned during each day in the fitness app, but only on the iPhone. For some reason, as of right now, you are unable to view it from your Apple Watch. In the fitness app on your iPhone, tap the activity ring, and under there, under the activity, you can see the total amount of calories you burned during the day so far. It goes up as the time goes by, naturally. It's also possible to go back in time and check it out for every day you've been using your Apple Watch. And now the question is, which one of these metrics is more important? Well, it's difficult to say because it really depends on what you're doing or what's your objective. If you're tracking your calories in, meaning those that you eat, with the aim of achieving surplus or a deficit, then you need not only to know how many calories you eat, but also how many you burn. And not just actively burn, but totally. So if you eat, let's say, 2,000 calories during the day, knowing that you burn like 500 actively doesn't really help you without knowing the total number. So 2,000 calories in, and you know you burned like 2,900 calories. So you can subtract the eating calories, and you know your final number. But it's also possible, however, that you don't even need the total amount of calories at all. Maybe you just want to know how much you burn during your exercise, run, or whatever you do. It's possible that you only need to know the active ones. It really depends, like I say. Let's say you want to measure how much you burn during a run, during one kilometer or something. Then you don't really focus on the total amount of calories. But what's really important, and many people overlook this, is pretty much making sure that the calories and the amounts that you see are accurate. Because it can happen that they're simply not. And uh, the reason for it is because your Apple Watch doesn't know your exact numbers for your height, weight, and other things. So you need to make sure that, let's say that you're losing weight or you're gaining muscle, you need to keep updating your weight and other info to make sure that everything is up to date. Because Apple Watch uses that data to estimate and to let you know how many calories you burn, whether actively or totally. So these numbers are crucial. Anyways, you make sure that they are correct in the health app on your iPhone. So you're going to go there and at the bottom in the tab bar, click on the thing on the right and your body measurements are going to pop up. So tap on it again and just update all the information that you can see and 
just make sure that it's all correct. So that's how you make sure that your Apple Watch knows about you, what it needs, and therefore can make like really accurate assumptions about the calories burned. The good news is also that even if you don't have an Apple Watch, with iOS 16 installed on your iPhone, you are now able to track your calories and activity in general using the fitness app. Well, it didn't used to be that way. And back in the iOS 15, you didn't even have the app present on your iPhone unless you paired an Apple Watch. It still lacks some functions. Of course, the stand or exercise goals are not present without Apple Watch, but calories can still be tracked. The accuracy will be worse for sure, but you at least have something. Apple probably also considered this to be a tactic to get you to buy a watch, like to show you what you're missing out on by not having one on your wrist, and I think that's a good thing. So that's it. That's the difference between active and calories on your Apple Watch. Hopefully this video helped you out. There is a playlist on my channel called Apple Watch Fitness, and you can go ahead and check out some of the videos there. It shows you how to change goals, how to change exercise goals, and other things related to Apple Watch and fitness. Go ahead and check it out, and you can also subscribe to the Fox Tech channel so you don't miss future videos like these. Have a great rest of the day, and see each other in the future.